Binabati ko ang uh, Metropolitan Museum sa kanilang pagdiriwang ng isang uh, retrospective para kay Miss Betsy Westendorf. This is a uh, landmark exhibition. I believe the first time that a, a retrospective is given to a uh, non-native-born uh, artist. Uh, Miss Betsy Westendorf, by virtue of her marriage to a Spanish-Filipino, Mr. Antonio Brias, has uh, lived the greater part of her life, her long life, uh, in our own country. It is here where she raised her family and where she has become a very uh, sensitive uh, observer of Philippine life as well as an active participant in uh, Philippine life activities. Miss Betsy has just turned 93, a great age, and all this past decade she has been extremely productive. And the exhibition of works assembled by the museum uh, shows uh, her great talent and skill and in the presentation of Philippine flora and uh, the many portraits of Manila's uh, business leaders and society figures. More importantly, she has painted the Philippine flowers, which in great abundance, in particular the, the Philippine orchid. Her favorite subject in the country, which fascinated her from the very start, since she lived in Manila for, uh, way back in the 50s, is of course the celebrated famous Philippine sunset. Miss Betsy went beyond the portrayal of uh, the Philippine sunset and universalized it, as it were, by focusing on the great cloudscapes across uh, the Philippine skies. Uh, these works have been called atmosferografias, a Spanish word given by a great friend, a Spanish critic, Elena Flores, for which I want to acknowledge uh, her great accomplishment as a chronicler of the art of Miss Betsy Westendorp. So to Miss Betsy, isa pong malaking karangalan, isa pong pasasalamat mula sa aming puso in behalf of the Filipino people. I want to extend to you the great uh, affection and the great thanks for having enriched uh, our Philippine art. Pinagyaman po ninyo ang sining Pilipino. Mabuhay po kayo. We love you, Miss Betsy Westendorp, and thank you. I'm happy to be part of this uh, exhibit of uh, Miss Betsy Westendorp, and it's a privilege and honor for us to be here to experience the uh, beauty of her works uh, across the decades in her career. It is said that uh, artists paint what they feel, and it's really a privilege for us to peer into those emotions when uh, she made these paintings. I can almost imagine what she was going through in the different phases of her life, going through the different subjects and objects that uh, the paintings uh, carried with them. Ms. Westendorp's uh, work is not limited to evoking emotions or artistry. Her paintings actually have benefited a lot of our patients in the Philippine General Hospital. I have seen her in those exhibits. It was a joyous moment for her to have her painting sold because she very well knows that the uh, uh, proceeds will go to uh, very needy patients in the hospital. I, I, it is a sight to see every time that happens. So throughout the years that she has supported us in the Philippine General Hospital and through the PGH Medical Foundation, I think um, we have learned a bit about philanthropy and generosity that uh, is a lesson carried over to the uh, artists that will follow her supporting us too. So to Betsy, uh, thank you very much for your uh, years of support to the Philippine General Hospital and the PGH Medical Foundation. On behalf of De La Salle University, we are very happy to co-host and co-sponsor this retrospective on the works and life of Betsy Westendorf, who has contributed so much to Philippine art, Philippine painting. Here, we see art expressing itself in enjoying nature, in enjoying the depths of human personality, as well as in portraying nature in its enjoyable form. So we invite you to, to join us in this retrospective. To Betsy, congratulations. We thank you for sharing with us 
your journey as an artist, as a painter, as a Filipina, because you have captured so many of what is excellent and beautiful and meaningful in Philippine nature, Philippine culture, Philippine uh, society. We know that your heart and soul will continue to be expressed through your beautiful paintings. And for this, we are grateful. We congratulate you and we wish you much success now and in the years to come. I'm one of the committee who was tasked to put together the for a research of all the painting that for the retrospective of passage of Betsy Westendor. Betsy has been my friend for uh, three, three decades. I had the honor to be working with her. This exhibit is uh, a great uh, stunning surprise. 100 painting all together of different subject that she, she does. It's really an extraordinary experience like all retrospective are. Because here you see, I see the life in different kind of period. So I know she is a great worker. She wakes up at five o'clock in the morning. She works and then she goes swimming for a while and then she comes back and work again. So it's a woman who has absolutely unbelievable strength up to the age, I think up to maybe six months, eight months ago, before the, the crisis happened. She was super active. She was still painting. So I thank the Metropolitan Museum for having given us the chance and the honor to be able to do, put together such a great collection and that everybody work in harmony. I hope people will have the, the chance to see it in the Zoom. So please come, over, come and see, because it's really a worth thing of a lifetime experience. Betsy, I just want to thank you for everything you have shared with everybody all these years. It has been an amazing, wonderful gift to have you as our friend and to understand the life of an artist with so much vigor, discipline, and passion. We love you so much, and we are eternally grateful for the friendship that has come to be all these years and to have parts of your heart in our home. We love you, and we wish you continued good health, great life, and always know how much you are loved. We are very honored and very privileged to host and to stage the Betsy Wessendorf retrospective here at the Metropolitan Museum. And despite the pandemic, I give great thanks to the Metropolitan Museum family for going ahead courageously with the, uh, this retrospective to honor the life and art of an amazing artist and human being, Betsy Westendorf. Betsy, you made it. This is tremendous for me on a personal level, having known you since I was 18 years old. And I give thanks to you for your friendship and your love. We hope that we can commemorate your memory as an artist and as a, an amazing storyteller of Filipino art and culture. And hopefully we can show the paintings of the life of the Philippines through your eyes for many generations to come. So thank you so much, Betsy, for gracing the halls of the Metropolitan Museum retrospective with your incredible, amazing art. Thank you. We love you. I'd like to thank all the people who have worked in, the, in this exhibit and tell you that my mother is overwhelmed with, her, with what she's seen and I think she, 
I mean, it's one of the best exhibits she's ever had, okay? And I don't know how to tell you how much we thank you. Thank you very much. I'm very happy for having had the chance to paint the flowers, the landscape, the sunset, and the kindness of the people, which is the most important thing in the Philippines, is the way the Filipino feel the, the warmth that we receive. I felt in love with the Philippines from the moment I met my husband in Madrid. And uh, he represented something that I saw that it will be my future, surrounded by people who, who are lovable. So I, I started painting Although my husband uh, was a little jealous because, because um, he knew that uh, if I got in love with the Philippines, that uh, will be forever. And sometimes he, he wanted to live in Spain, but he knew that I loved it here. So even when he, when he passed away, I kept on coming always because I feel I come home. This thing that you have done to me today, I know that this is not natural. You have given me your heart today and I appreciate that. I feel moved, I feel very happy. I enjoy painting so much that it's a blessing. And I thank God for it because uh, I am very lucky. I thank God for everything I got that gives me so much joy because painting brings joy. Thank you.